We're going today to talk about uh, different breakers that's on the market. Uh, the first breaker I'm going to pick up is a Federal Pacific. You look at the red markings here. It's very distinguished. They're very hard to open and close. These are what we call the stab lock. And actually, Federal Pacific had a class action lawsuit against it uh, about 1988. So right now, you can no longer find them. Sometimes you can find them in places like Ace Hardware. Most of the time, you have to go online. And these things are worth about $2 an amp. So really, this breaker, if you had to use it, is worth about $80 to $100. Here is a, this is what we call a fat Federal Pacific Breaker, double pole. This is a thin Federal Pacific Breaker, double pole. So I also have different type stab locks if you look. You've got to be very careful how you put them on the bus bar because this bus bar sits in two spaces. This bus bar sits in one space. So you have to actually straddle the bus bar. Here is a single pole Federal Pacific breaker. This particular one has to be 20. But listen to how hard this is to open and close. Very difficult. That's the reason they had to go off uh, the market because they, they would not trip. They, the house would catch on fire. Here is a fat single pole breaker, Federal Pacific. See the stab lock? This one actually sounds pretty good. I would use this one. Here's the difference, thin and fat. So that was another drawback with Federal Pacific. They have the thin and the fat. Moving along here, we're going to talk about Cutler Hammer next. This is a tan Cutler Hammer, double pole. The footprint is such. Uh, they work pretty well. The thing you got to remember about Cutler Hammer, there's the tan and there's the black. Cutler hammer and the footprint is entirely different. So when your technicians go out in the field or your electricians go out in the field, you want to say, I have a cutler hammer, you ask the question, is it a tan or is it a black handle one? And that way you'll know which breakers to buy. This next one is a general electric breaker, double pole. There's the footprint. Here is the thin General Electric. If you look at the stab locks, they're, they're pretty close in, in size, but they one's horizontal and one's vertical stab. The thin one is what I say the, is the horizontal, and the vertical is the fat one. They will not interchange with no one, which is what we want, because the insurance company mandated about 20 years ago that you can't interchange breakers from one manufacturer to another, because before that point, you can interchange Bryant with the ITE, with Ghoul, with Square D, Homeline. And for you electricians out there, you understand what I'm saying. The next breaker is, this is what we call a Square D QO. And actually, QO means quick off. They have the fastest tripping breaker on the market. That's why you pay for the uh, Square D brand, because you actually get the money that you're paying. This is a great breaker. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is the top of the line on the market. This is what we at Jones Air Conditioning and Electrical use for our company is only Square D products. I would only sell my customers something I would put in my own house. Here is a single pole Square D breaker. Once again, single pole, double pole. The next brand is the ITE brand. The ITE is a uh, Kind of similar to the Cutler Hammer, but you still can't interchange. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See how you, they're the same width? They're still double pole, but see how you can't stick them on the same bus bar? That's because the insurance companies mandated that, like I said, 20 years ago. Here is a double pole IT breaker. This particular one's 15 amp. Same type footprint. It's just single pole. The next is a Bryant breaker. This is a Bryant double pole. I don't have my other breakers, and I'll do another video later, but the thing I like about Bryant, as an electrician and as a good technician, you see the red, you know it's 20. The greens are 30. 
you understand when you start seeing blues are uh, 40s, and when you see these different colors in the panel box, the technician knows which one's which. Once again, this is a double pole. This is an old breaker, is what this is. I pulled out of somebody's. See the footprint? The footprints are the same, so yes, you could interchange these breakers if you wanted to, but you're not supposed to. A qualified electrical contractor would know better, and he wouldn't do it. That's why it's always important to use licensed contractors in your business. Homeowners, use licensed contractors. This is a Zensco breaker. See how wild the bus bar is on this? Then this is actually a double pole Zensco breaker. Zensco is another company that went out of business. I'm not aware of a lawsuit against those people, but uh, they're not really a great breaker, and you cannot buy these breakers hardly anywhere except in aftermarket, and they're very expensive. I highly recommend if you have anything that looks like this, Call your local electrical contractor and have them to replace the system. Okay, and last and least, this is a three-phase. This happens to be an ITE Siemens breaker, and it's a three-pole breaker. And why do we have a three-pole breaker? Because we have three breaker spaces it uses. Because if you look at it, it's, it's, it's like a single-pole breaker, but it has three spaces. You look at the back side, it takes three bus bars. This can be used on a 120, 240 volt, three phase system. And uh, that's it. So, folks, the, if you need any questions, you have any problems, you, you, don't hesitate to call us. Go online to jonesairconditioning.com. Please give us a call at 239 596 5855 or visit our website, jonesairconditioning.com.